Hey y'all, uh, Conservative Brother Daily here, uh, bringing you another CBD rant, a base black face in a woke place. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, Gonzalo Lira, along with the, the likes of Julian Assange and Edward Snowden say their names. And yeah, it's, those guys already know, unless you've been living under a rock or you're just kind of politically normy. Um, the death of Gonzalo Lira. Um, he was a journalist that was doing a lot of things to expose a lot of the Ukraine corruption overseas. And um, yeah, I think uh, I think it was the start of January. He ended up being captured into a Ukrainian prison. There was constant protests. There's even letters written to President Biden. Um, he was, you know, Biden is able to go over there and release all the pro-mainstream corporate media journalists that try and just stir up Russian, stir up Russian, you know, fuss. He goes and releases them in a minute. But uh, Gonzalo Lira, fortunately, was over there and he got captured. And there were videos of him, like, you know, talking about the work he was doing, how literally, you know, I could, you know, he was kind of actually, I think it was some point, one of his, a few of his last videos, he was stuck in Ukraine trying to go through a certain crossing and was putting out like, hey, hey, uh, if you guys can get this out, let them know if they do capture me, they will kill me, you know? And of course, you know, last few years, he just gets all the smears, especially since Putin invaded the war that, oh, he's a pro, or, you know, you could, you could just Google his name. And then of course, all the big tech, you know, conspiring media is like, oh, pro-Russian propagandist, Gonzalo Lira, or pro-Russian blogger, and they just do all the smears, do all the, you know, same thing they did to Edward Snowden and Julian Assange. What you got to remember is that this modern-day uh, military-industrial complex, one that's been going on for decades, but Bush pretty much accelerated, and Obama just skyrocketed to the moon the, the, the new the whistleblowers or the journals doing the real work to expose what what they try and do now is that the crime isn't the 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 crimes being exposed the crime is the person who exposed it so you see over the past few years whether it be james o'keefe or uh edward snowden or julian assange is that they make out the crime to be exposing what the crime is versus the crime being, oh, look, this is what these people are doing. This is the actual crime. But they try and flip it and use that espionage act to say, oh, well, this is the crime of you exposing what we're doing. It's a matter of security and all that. So what you have here is a sad example of, once again, something we don't want to see with Julian Assange or Edward Snowden. They've been able to skate away long enough, you know, but uh, unfortunately, Gonzalo Lira, it didn't make it. And uh, he's been featured on a lot of different interviews. I remember things with Do Dissidents or Jimmy Dore. And I think even uh, Mike Adams uh, over the Natural News Health Ranger podcast, he, he broadcast in one of his last interviews. And he did a break, great breakdown as well as far as like the minds of these sort of corporate elite like the schools they go to and the, and, the, and the middle management jobs they get and the mindset of how they 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 buy that bow down to power and do whatever they can to get in certain positions then they plateau and they always co toe the line as far as just getting what they need to secure their career and doing all the right thing to get around all the right parties and get get around the right circles. And Gonzalo Lira came from that. He came from that sort of elitist circle. But yeah, he wasn't able to get, he didn't get brainwashed by it. But he knows that world. So I think it's a very good audio. I think eventually I'm going to, I'm going to uh, create like a SoundCloud. And I just have a lot of great audio. I just want to release. I don't think I'll be able to add a video or a thumbnail to it. But I just want to release the audios. It's a great one where he just talks about the mindset of the elites and they'll do everything they can to basically uh, keep their secrets or, you know, keep their positions, you know, well-to-do positions and do whatever they can. So that includes just giving the machine one-on-ones, giving the establishment, you know, the narrative they want, 
not asking questions and just propping up whatever the mainstream uh, ministry of truth is. So that was unfortunately with Gonzalo Lira. He was like many smeared for years just for exposing what's really going on. The corporate media is like, we can't have that. And it's just unfortunate. Once again, we still got Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, and I'm sure many others that we need to fight to get home or give immunity to. Uh, well, I'll give it to RFK Jr. At least um, he said he would, uh, you know, if elected, you know, which is pretty far off at this point. He said he'll uh, he'll pardon Julian Assange and uh, Edward Snowden. But where is Gonzalo Lira's justice? Where, you know, it's unfortunate that um, he didn't get to him in time. So where was RFK on that? You know, so. Just wanted to give my give our flowers to our uh, Mr. Lyra here because he did some great work exposing a lot of the corruption with Ukraine. And uh, once again, they want to smear as a Putin, Putin puppet, but uh, he did a lot, and it's unfortunate this happened. But through his through his work and through his death, we can we can learn some lessons and do what we got to do and keep his legacy alive on what he's done and you know keep spreading the word, y'all. So that's what's about uh, Conservative Brother Daily. We'll talk to you next time. See ya.